Okay guys, uh, today we're working on a 2004 Jetta with the 1.9 liter diesel BEW engine. But uh, the procedure here is gonna be uh, pretty much the same. We're just gonna show you how to set uh, the rockers and on the injectors here. Found a bunch of uh, documentation online, but honestly, nobody shot a video. I don't know why, it's kind of annoying. Anyways, um, what you're gonna see here is I've actually labeled um, the lobes on the cam and so E is for exhaust and I is for intake so we got exhaust intake exhaust intake intake exhaust intake and exhaust and what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the lobes on the intake side we're gonna bring them up here's here's one that's set right now we're gonna bring the lobe the highest point on that lobe up until it's on the wheel or like dead center of the wheel on the rocker here okay so i've already adjusted this one up to the top all i'm doing is uh putting a couple wrenches on here okay um i just do this interlock a couple wrenches and i pull on it until the lobe here is even with the top of the roller on the rocker okay and what that means is when this is up the lobe underneath this is also up. It actually puts this side down. So what you're doing is you're compressing the injector all the way, and then you're gonna set that. So once that's all the way, you can crack these nuts loose either before or after. It doesn't matter when you crack them loose. Um, at least I don't care. I like to back them off a little bit. Grab an Allen key, back them off a little bit. And if you're just putting these on, make, make sure that there's some oil and stuff in here so you're not just, you know, dry rubbing these. Turn it in till it's like it's snug. So there's, it's nice and snug there, okay? And then what I like to do is just kind of line this up, take my finger, and now we're gonna back it off 180 degrees. There's 180 degrees backed off, okay? It's not rocket science, don't overthink it. Tighten this down with your finger. Same thing, make sure you hold it, that 180 degrees backed off, and there, that one is done. Now guys, we've, we've checked this with the dial gauge. We've went in, we've put the dial gauge in here, we've held it on the block, we've made sure these are set at the lowest point. The reality is, as long as these lobes line up with the rockers here, it's at the lowest point. There's, there's actually a lot of room in this lowest point here. If, if you've got your wrenches on here and you're turning this with a dial gauge, you're going to see the dial gauge hang on that lowest point for quite some time. So um, these are now set. We're going to now go on and do this one. Same thing. We're going to put the wrenches on here. We're going to rotate it until this is all the way down. We're going to back off the nut. We're going to loosen up the Allen key a bit. Then we're going to turn it all the way in until it stops. Until we, you know, so there's some good resistance. We're then going to back the Allen key off 180 degrees. Loosen it off 180 degrees and tighten this nut. Now, if you wanna speed this up a little bit, guys, just put your markings on here, which one are exhaust, which one injector, so you know which one you're looking at. The other thing is these lobes, um, as you're turning this so that you're not, you know, you can do it sequentially if you want. It's faster if you actually watch how the lobes come up and which ones are compressing. And then you just grab whichever lobe is the next one in the sequence. Okay, guys, so uh, good luck with that. and. Uh, when you're finally done all of these, just make sure you can put your Allen key back on here, but make sure you torque all of these down to 24 foot pounds, okay?